I understand that this was the toughest uh, job uh, that the judges have had ever since the uh, beginning of Dylan days. But the, uh, the winner is, and can I have the envelope please? Oh yes, thank you. Here it is. The winner is... My name is Danielle from the famous folk band, Daniel Ate the Sandwich. And we are here at Zimmy's in Hibbing, Minnesota to celebrate Dylan Days 2013. All right, this is Dan Danielle Ate the Sandwich. What is that, a Serbian name? <laughs> Here at Zimmy's tonight, there is a singer-songwriter contest where contestants are asked to sing one Bob Dylan cover and one of their own originals. And I hear that there's a $400 cash prize to the winner. Here's Daniel with the sandwich. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I will be performing Bob Dylan's song, Girl from the North Country, which is actually inspired by his high school girlfriend, Echo, who's also on the sign here at Zimmy's. Can you consider yourself a girl from the North Country? I wish. I don't know. Girls from the North Country. Any, any girls from the North Country here? I didn't really realize I was getting into like beloved, beloved high school girlfriend territory. Heavy on the borderline. You see for me. I picked the song Girl from the North Country because it's been one of my favorite songs since I really got into all of Bob Dylan's repertoire and I like it as a simple love song. It's mostly about him uh, advising a traveler who's going to the North Country to see if this woman he loved still lives there and how she's doing and I think it's just a really nice sentiment. It's not longing or, or pining desperately, but it is still saying I still care about her. I still want the best for her. I still want to know how she's doing. There's a little bit of of kind of tortured sentimentality, but not too much. See for me if her hair's hanging long. People ask constantly, who are your inspirations? And usually I say people like Bob Dylan. Sometimes for me, it's not even that his work inspires my work, but since I was writing songs before I even really got into Bob Dylan, it's like this, this comfort zone or this reassuring thing that when I hear Bob Dylan songs and they're simple and they tell good stories, it kind of reassures me that I'm, I'm doing the right thing, telling my stories the way that I am, if that makes sense. Whereas like, I'm definitely influenced and inspired by his work, but it also feels like a friend, like I'm talking to a friend on the phone who's going, I know what you're talking about, I know what you're going through. I'm wondering if she remembers me at all. Many times I've often prayed in the dark. I think part of the exciting thing is we're all just normal people. Like I think he's kind of a normal person with an incredible talent. And she was probably a normal person and they were just doing normal people things. But then he took his stories and his relationships with people and turned them into songs. And then he got famous and then they became these big mysteries to discover. So if you're traveling in the North Country Fair Where the winds hit heavy and that's kind of cool, but it's also nice to know that we're all kind of normal. Somebody turned on a recorder and got the only, at least in my research, the only recording of that song. And it's cool that anybody can come from a town like this and be a folk rock icon because, you know, I'm from a small town in Fremont, Nebraska. Danielle, it's a sandwich. You are the recipient of the first place prize, $400. What are you gonna do now? I'm going to Disneyland. Hey, thank you. I really freaking appreciate that. Oh, Hibbing, Minnesota. <laughs> My original song is called Where I'll Be. I wrote it when I was living in New York City, listening to a lot, a lot, a lot of Bob Dylan. So I might get basic, we'll see. And I 
wrote it while I was living in New York City, completing my internship so that I could graduate from college. And graduating from college is such a not such a not Bob Dylan thing to do. Fourth graders math homework that blew away. It's very verbose and I'm trying to impress people with my use of the language of English of, of the English language. Nothing short a flapjack stacked high in the morning we'll have breakfast and by these rules I choose to live and die. So sweet the water from the faucet drips into the bowl Where porcelain lovers grace the curves of where I put my cereal I remember I just would walk around the city because I didn't have money to pay to actually do anything. <laughs> so I'd walk around the streets and listen to Bob Dylan. I remember one time I was in, I think, Greenwich Village and I heard these old men talking about how rent prices had changed since when they were young and I, I had hoped some, one of them would be like, and we're friends with Bob Dylan, but nobody did that. Send your letters to Colorado. All right, third place. And they get this beautiful photograph of Bob Dylan on September 1958. For third place, at $50 minus 20%, is uh, Danielle ate the sandwich. In your arms when the birds are singing And the sun is brighter than before And the heat is all there is to breathe I'm going home to someone that I once knew. Well, the licorice lips of women kept in stockings and skirts too high honk after cars of businessmen still breathing air, but not alive. Is it? That's for you. Congratulations. Here's the picture. For second place, may we have a drum roll, please? Cut it out. Bucks minus 20%, and you get the picture. You like this picture? I think I, I ended on a different point than I started on. It's Bob Dylan. It's Dylan time. <laughs>